Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm back on the channel with some Forzathon on Forza Horizon 3. Now this is a pretty decent one because we have another chance to win the Nissan Silvia S15 Horizon Edition. Pretty good car. We only got a chance to get it once and it got kind of expensive because only like a bunch of people ended up getting the car and now we all get to get it once again. I already put mine up for sale. It's gone. It's sold. I sold mine for like 3 million credits almost. It was pretty funny. It was very, very funny. I was like, I saw this way before the Forza Town event was gonna be out. I looked at what the for like the actual event is gonna be going to be, like the achievement, the coming through achievement. I was like, holy shit, we're gonna get an S15 Horizon S uh, edition. So I thought I was just gonna sell mine and see how much money I can make off it. So I almost made the three million credits off it, and I'm just gonna get another one for free. But this is what we have to do today. We have to get three stars in a drift zone. Easy. 20 drift skills in a Nissan. Easy. Complete a race in a Japanese car, easy, and then win a championship in a Nissan to win the S15. Very, very, very easy. So I think what I'm going to end up doing is doing the fur or the bottom three all at once. So I'm going to try to do the 20 drift skills. I'm going to complete a race in a Japanese car, easy, because I'm just going to use a Nissan anyway. And we have to do three races, because that is the minimum for a championship. And we have to win a championship, again, to win a Nissan S15 Horizon Edition. Perfect. So, I'm gonna go ahead and change to one hey, now. It's yes, I know. Done. Just let me go yeah, into the festival, please. So, what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop on the achievements list here. I'm gonna add up on my screen the achievement tracker with a very specific one. Um, the one where I have to do 20 drift skills. I'm gonna have that up on my screen before, before I start any of the races, just because I want to have that done during these races. Get three stars in the drift zone, that's pretty easy to do, and there we go, that's the, that's the main one I want to have up, up, up at the top of my screen. Wow. It's so easy to do, just go around doing this. Oh, this is definitely not up for drifting. Oh, it revs so high. Way past 10,000 RPM. It's no slouch either. It's actually doing some serious work. Brakes are very good. Again, I know it's not a drift here. I'm already halfway done through those. Alright, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and hop and uh hope and try to set one of these up i think i'm gonna just do three small circuit races so i'll go to like this one uh i'm gonna set these up really quickly into a championship i'll just do like three random circuit races uh and we'll see what that's gonna be like all right let's get started i brought the difficulty drive tires down so i do have a chance of winning this the only problem with circuit races is it's very difficult to overtake every single person in the first lap and since all of these races are just one lap races. It's gonna be kind of difficult for me to get in the first place very, very quickly, so that's why I have to bring the difficulty down for these drivers. Other than that, other than that, I just have to sort of get myself in the front of the back now. That's pretty much it. I have to try not to spin my back wheels too much here. I will get the odd drift and stuff like that. As you can see, the little slider has gone up even more on the achievement list. So all I have to do now is sort of try to get a couple more slides in and I should be all good to go with the drifting. Oh, come on! How was that second place? What was the time? It was the exact same. It was literally the exact same. 56.423 and it gives me second place. Why? That's four points that I missed out on. Anyway, let's move on. Let's move on. I'll definitely come first place in this in the sprint race that I added in. All right, and just like that, I am done. First place. Let's see where I got because the first two races I didn't come in first place at all. Uh, did I get more points? Yeah, I, yes, I did. I got f finished with fifty-two points. That is great. All right. Not too bad. Now let's see where I came on the list. 
Of course it's not coming through. Finish it off. We got our S15 Horizon Edition. By the way, if you guys haven't noticed the gold S15s that have been driving around, those are the S15 Horizon Editions. <laughs> in, just in the background, in the same races that I've been doing so far. Uh, it's just random... Random people using the S15 Horizon Edition. Except it's without the wide body kit. And pretty much just without the kit altogether. So I'll show you guys the car right now. I'll even change to it. Um, because why not? Actually, what else do we have to do? What other event do we have to do for this? I have to get three stars in the drift zone for that. That's fine. I'm going to go ahead and change over to the S15 so I can show you guys what it looks like. It's pretty much an S15 with a wide body. That's that's all it is. But I'll change to it. I'll take it out and I'll use that to get three stars in a drift zone. And uh, with that, I will finish off today's video. So I'm going to go off this way because I think I'll be able to find it faster. There it is. Wide body, S15, Horizon Edition. Now, I'm going to take this out, like I said. I'll bring it over to one of the drift zones. I'll try to get three stars. Well, it's going to be easy, so I'll just get three stars. I'm not going to try. I know it's going to be very easy. There is one right next to us. I don't know if in fact I'll be able to do that. Even though I've completed all of them with three stars. Every single event in this game I've completed with three stars. I like the way that it still lets you... It still lets you, like, just do them again, and if you get the specific amount of points that the three stars do, or, like, are, pretty much, um, it still gives you the points. Or it still gives you the, the win for whatever you're doing. I don't even know how many points I need to get here. There's 42,000 points. I hope that's enough. How much do we need to get? We need to get 50,000 points. Alright, well, doing it uphill doesn't work, so let's go ahead and try this downhill. Should be a little bit easier. Yes, much easier downhill. Much, much easier. Alright, just like that. An S15 with no tune. 68,000 points. That's three stars. Give me the... Uh there it is. Those are the wheel spins. Wait for that to load actually before I do anything. Oh, it's 95,000 XP. I've already got the wheel spins. I guess. So, that's it. Alright, I've leveled up. And we got four wheel spins. Let's have, a, let's have a look and see what we can get out of these four wheel spins really quick. And we got absolutely nothing. <laughs> there is no point. That's pretty much it. The uh, wheel spins are completely useless for me now because I pretty much own every Horizon Edition car in the game right now, except for the final one that will be coming out very soon. If you guys want to see the video I've made on that, I'll put it up on the screen. It should pop up on the screen as one of the one of the extra videos at the end of this video. So again, if you guys want to go ahead and check that out, click the videos up on the screen. That should be popping up in a minute. So that's okay. I crashed. Well, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys very much for watching. We got the S15 Horizon Edition. And this week's Forza Thought was pretty sick. Now, one final thing before I leave you guys off. This S15 has crazy steering angles. If you guys want to use this car for drifting, it's very, very good if you have a decent setup for it. I'll probably make a video of this car and give it, like, a good setup. Uh, because of the steering angle that this thing has, it should be very, very fun to try and drift with. I did have a setup on my old S15. I haven't saved it, and then I just sold my car. So now I don't have it again, but I'll try to make a new one. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's actually very fun to drive this thing because of its crazy steering angle. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much going to be it. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. First on is going to last for another six days from me here. By the time I'm uploading this video, it should be five days. But uh, yeah, there's still a long way for you guys to go up until you get the Forza Ton uh, challenges completed for this one. So Nissan S15 Horizon Edition is one of them. You can't get this car in wheel spin, so you have to get it through this Forza Ton. Or you can buy it off the auction house, but it's a lot easier to get the car for free, obviously. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.